Hey everybody, it, do another video. Sorry, I just <laughs> made an entire video and for some reason I looked up and the timer wasn't moving and it wasn't even recording right. So let me recap what I was talking about in the previous one because this is the mail day and saves you all from having to see me break all the tape on these. Um, but first of all, the big thing that I got was this this is from National Treasures it's a booklet from Nolan Ryan got the autograph on one side the huge patch on the other I mean it's fantastic I got it on the Facebook um, baseball card um, group they were selling it for um, I don't remember what they were selling it for but I offered them forty dollars and they took it and I thought that was a steal for Nolan Ryan booklet from um, it's National Treasures, right? Yep, National Treasures. So, Nolan Ryan, $40. Great deal. Now, these packs. I have a bunch of different packs here. No, this isn't a break as far as like boom box that I'll, I'll be getting or whatever. Every one of these packs I ordered off of eBay. And there's basically pretty much one of every product here, except for some reason one seller sent me these three packs together and I didn't order multiple packs from anybody but all these packs claim to have something in them that I don't understand how they could possibly know this one says it's guaranteed to have a numbered auto and it is tops archives okay you all can tell me if I'm wrong but I don't believe that in a tops archives value pack that you buy at the store it's not even part of a hard hobby box or a retail box either one and then you can't see through it i checked you can't see through it you can hold it up you can't see anything like that it's not you know the pack's not broken in any way and they're guaranteeing that it has a numbered auto so this one here was the most most of these cost me in anywhere up to ten dollars but some of them were as cheap as a dollar fifty so i mean none of them really cost me a lot of money except for this this one right here all these have are guaranteed to have are guaranteed to have something like the fire here's the paper i think for it um oh no that's for the other card i got i got a um uh, this card right here, a 92 Derek Jeter Tops Gold rookie card. I got it for uh, 20 bucks off of eBay, so that was a good deal. But that's there's another paper around there that I was looking for. Yeah, this is it. Okay. They guarantee that this fire pack has a thick patch autograph inside so yes I can tell from filling it just like I could with my pack in my box that it's definitely the relic pack okay I got that but you can hold it up you can look at it it's not broken in any way it has not been slit in any way how they can tell that it is an autoed patch card is beyond me because you cannot see through it. And that's the question that I have with these. I want to know if they're real or if it's a scam. And so I thought, well, buy one of every product and find out if they're right. Because if they're right, it means that there is some kind of a code that's on these packs that is telling people what's inside them without them buying them. And that would be a little bit discouraging. You know, some people had that information and the rest of us didn't, but I'm just curious if they do. Like this one here is was the most expensive. It is another, um, you know, a pack, individual pack from the store. This one is the one that guarantees a Vladdy numbered to 25 auto.
patch. Yes, this is. It wasn't just that. It was. It was a patch number. Vladdy patch auto number twenty. Number twenty five. So, same thing. You cannot see it in here, anyway, shape or form. You can even tell there's more than one card in here. So it's not like it's the only card in there. And I just I have no idea how they're doing it. This is the only one that I paid pretty good money for. This one costs forty dollars because it has a, it's supposed to have a guaranteed Vladdy auto patch in it, which if it does, it's well worth forty dollars, a lot more than that. If not, it's a scam and I got ripped off. But it was worth a try to me. So anyways, I've got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven of these packs like this that people and I'm and it tells I've got a list of everything that it tells the people are claiming that, that are in them, but I've got Bowman Platinum. That's the one it claims to have the Vladdy patch in it. I got Heritage um, Baseball that they. I have to look to see what these have. They're guaranteeing these and these. This is a Heritage Tot number. This is a Topps Chrome. Uh, Bowman Platinum. Actually, the Bowman Platinum is the one that has the uh, guaranteed Vladdy patch auto in it. Right here. Because it's, I remember it has the uh, Prospect, Prospect Parallel card. And, or it says one exclusive Prospect Parallel card. Guaranteed per pack. That was the only thing I thought might give them a clue, but even that doesn't even make any sense considering Vladdy's not considered a prospect in 2019. So, not sure there. And then you have the fire pack, which they're saying is a guaranteed patch auto. And then on the archives, they're guaranteeing it's even though we've got this sticky little post it note here that says they're, it has a it's guaranteed the numbered auto. So, we're gonna on a separate video, we're gonna open up all these packs and find out. How right they are, or if it's a scam. Now, the good news and the bad news. The good news is, I got the tops, nine, nine tops that I've been waiting for. Bad news is this. I only got one from the same case. This is a cell box, and has the same stickers. Sorry, where is it? Right here. It has the same stickers on it on the outside package as the other one. I, the reason why I opened it up was because he told me they were from the same case, and I know knew that this obviously was not the same case as this. This is cello packs, this is wax packs. So it kind of told me that, that wasn't true. So but well, the reason why I wanted to open them up was because when that was the case, I knew that this was not factory, the factory cell thing on it. This was, he had shrink wrapped it. So basically I just wanted to check to make sure the cards were all there and the packs looked right. And they do. Everything, you know, just what it's supposed to be. Um, same way with the wax packs. The wax packs look perfect, except for the fact that, um, and they're from the same seller. That part's the same, but y'all can tell, you know, it's just like they should. No breaking the, the, you know, the base gum base isn't breaking away from or anything like that. So, that's not the issue. Uh, that's not the problem. Problem is, he told me they were from the same box, same case, and I paid considerably more for them than I would have normally. A box of wax two nineteen ninety tops, but I guess it's still worth the money considering I did pull a no name um, Frank Thomas off from this seller from one of his other boxes. It was his seller box. It is from that case, and um, I did the research before I bought it from him and found out that the city that he lives in, they had pulled seven of them in two years which is like unheard of for, you know, that many people to, you know, to pull that many of them from set from one area. And so I bought them from that city and that's where I pulled the first one from. 
I'm hoping we can pull another one, but yeah, the chances are pretty astronomical to find a second one, even even with pulling it from the same case. But I paid the extra money to get the same case. He said he had two boxes left, but I know what he's going to tell me. He's going to say he said he had two boxes left. He didn't say he had two boxes left in that case, and he only had one box apparently from that case. But anyways, I'm a little bit disappointed because that was going to be the the intention was I was going to buy, I mean, break one of these, um, like, whenever I sold out of the quadrants, and then break the other one once I hit a thousand subscribers and give them away, uh, like, give packs away on a live stream, because that's the only one I'll ever be able to do a live stream is once I hit a thousand subscribers, but I am right at it, so I'm close to 800 now, so I'm hoping that I can get up there pretty quick, um, And so, if, you, if you're interested in breaking the wax packs and taking a shot at a Frank Thomas, getting a Frank Thomas no name, not just that, you can get a regular Frank Thomas rookie card, you can get Sammy Sosa's rookie card out of that box. Um, of course, I was going to charge the same thing that I paid for them because, you know, I'm doing this not only to grow the community, but also grow my channel and stuff. So I'm not worried about it. Just, you know, I'm not trying to make a big profit or anything like that. I just basically get my money back on it. Now, in fact, sometimes I actually lose money on them, which that's fine. Um, but I was going to sell these for $25 a quadrant. But since they're wax packs, even though they're from the same one, I'm not going to sell them for 25 I'm probably going to sell them for 20 because I sold the Colin, uh, Colin collection for 20 and we sold out those in no time, so we shouldn't have any problems selling these out in no time at $20 a piece either. I will tell you that if I do sell the, the cello box, the cello packs, they will be more expensive than that to try to make up the difference between what I had to pay for both boxes together, but it still wouldn't be that much, but most likely those won't be sold. More than likely, I'm going to just wait until, hold on to this box until I hit my 1,000 subscribers and then just find a way to give them away to you all. Um, and hopefully, you know, somebody can find a Frank Thomas no name in there and not even have to pay anything for it. So, we're auctioning it off for the, um, the members in need fund something, you know. We'll, because, I mean, I've got a 33 Gaudi Babe Ruth that I've been considering giving away instead. So, I mean, there's options that we've got on that. But we got some time, like I said. i still got another 200 subscribers that I need to get to before I won't hit 1,000. But um, let me know if you're interested in buying into one of the quadrants on the, um, the wax packs at $20 a quadrant. And because, um, like I said, it's still from the same guy, the same city that we hit the top Frank Thomas no name. Uh, on the front, on the other ones, and uh, even it, um, so, I mean, if you hit one, the lowest I've ever seen one selling for on eBay, I think, is around 5000 and then some people are asking ridiculous money, they're asking like $50,000 for one, and not, it's not worth that, but it's absolutely worth at least $5,000, if you can find a Frank Thomas no name. So, um, let me know your thoughts and in the comments below. And if you're interested, same thing. Put in the comments below and um, your email address and I'll get a hold of you. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.